What's happening, Kevin? This is your boy, C.D. Hunts. And yes, what you got before you is the Hasbro Evolved Legends series, Thor's Love and Thunder. Thor. Man. Like I said, I've seen these inside the stores at Walmart, but couldn't really buy them at the time, you know, because they, they wouldn't let sell them because of the uh, release date. So, I did a little lay away <laughs> so I can so I can like come back forward but somebody found my stash <laughs> so but I did end up finding Thor on, on his own but then I went to the, the actual uh, cash register to bring rung him up and that bad boy was almost 30 bucks I was man almost left him at the store <laughs> I was so cold when leaving them at the store. I'm telling you, like this wave, I usually buy them when, when they first come out, but yeah, I'm gonna have to wait till these mugs go on clearance. Because I'm not paying them thirty dollars each legends. That's that's almost like buying a Marvel Select. A a a a a a, 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 a it's almost like buying them. And yeah, they, they ain't worth it. They ain't worth it. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to wait for the rest of them to come out on on um, clearance. But I did end up buying Thor. And I did end up finding... Uh, 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 I need Thor, a.k.a. G uh, G and Foster on Amazon. So I did order her, and she's on her way. But... The type of package that Marvel Legends has, and you see the the, the movie logo, see everything in the package. See on the side of the box, same image, same image that's, that that is on each side here, as you can see. And on the back of the box, it has the full wave, showing off all the figures in that wave, and it got the uh, build figure as well, as you can see. And they got Thor, and they got his bio so if you want to read it pause it here it goes but trust me once we get back we're gonna have Thor out the box and we're gonna see what it do with a, with a Thor and now we got this bad boy out the box I know the way this figure looks but I do gotta see off like off off uh, from the start. Now I'm not really too much feeling the head sculpt on this. Hopefully, whenever I, I uh, get the Ravager, or I do want to use that head sculpt on, on, on this figure. So, hopefully, play it down line, I, uh, I will get that one. And for now, before we come to full detail, I just figured we can talk about everything it comes with. And you know, with Thor, as you can see, we come with two things. Because in this way, he is the two figure in this whole in this whole wave pack. So he he doesn't come with a a a, a, a little figure piece. It's just him all along. So basically comes with the extra hand. And this is his fist right here, as you can see. That's all it is. And you know, with most of the newer Thors that's out, it comes with Stormbreaker. I like this hammer. Nice. With the arm of, like, teenage root with the hammer on top with the axe up top and now we're going to talk about the main man himself Thor now I really do like the suit I, I love the the uh, type of blue that it has and the gold the black all extended as one, looking quite nice. I, I, 
like this right here is, is my type of blue is that a uh, oil blue I really do like that I, I like the sh sh shine of it and I really do dig in the boots how uh, these are actually made in the, in the look right here like I said I'm starting to see a lot more a lot more textures a lot more patterns on on all these figures now all I gotta say is about time because you know who is still doing all the things with what they have to do for the figures with the overall pictures and everything so I love how details has in the circles now in the part of the, uh, the armory arm same arm a bit more old you got a little silver accents and the, the helmet to me like it's cool and all where like I haven't seen the movie yet because it's not out yet but knowing the high pilot looking movie probably changed my mind but for right now it looks a little weird so like I said once the movie comes out or it might be have a, have a different uh, uh, um, a different opinion but now it looks a little goofy but with the other head sculpt I will be putting it on putting it on this figure as well and let's see the type of hands he got this is more of an open type hand I guess when he's trying to call on on the hammer like that and it's the hand that actually holds Storm Parker. and I'm loving the way the cape is as well because it's a soft type of a, a, a material it is not gonna it's not gonna weigh him down so you need to move, move stuff out move it out the way and do some articulation stuff with it you want to see the back of suit this is all black with a little bit of gold around the belt not too much details on the back of the boots is blue so basically all the details is, is like right up front so loving the details on that man it is crazy I love, and I, plus I also love his gauntlets as well you can see the designs of the gauntlets with the gold and the blue a little bit of black and I'm just not noticing a little bit of uh, red as well I like it. saying all that we're gonna go with Thor's articulation so can't really lift his head up too much because the hair is blocking it can't really look down too much because like the hair is blocking it <laughs> look left and right as you can see the arms is on more like a, a ratchet type joints so lift the arms that much let's have a boss of swivel Double hinge elbows, hinge on the wrist, upper upper movement of the waist goes back that far. Can't really go for it too much. Turn left and right on the upper part. The lower part does not move. Does the splits that much? Keep forward that much. Keep back just a little bit. Does have double knees. Toes go back that far. that much and it does have ankle rocker so all in all the Thor if you're trying to collect the MC, MCU of figures and stuff like that trust me but like for at least this you might want to change head stuff like me this one is a must have and now we're going to take a look at how other figures of the MCU stacks up next to Four. First one we're gonna take a look at of the Marvel Legends MCU's Thor: The Dark World. Thor. I love, love this figure. Love the original Thor figure for the first movie. It wasn't all that great, but soon they made this one. This one here is still is like one of my favorite Thor figures that. that uh, that's been made so if you have a chance to get this door trust me 
this this one is definitely a must have to have an actual Thor on your MCU shelf. And up next, this is the Marvel Legends series MCU's Thor from Thor Ragnarok. This is my second favorite one that I got so far of Thor. Though the face scope is it was so good, I got I got two of these bad boys. Cause I plan on doing a custom part of the face whenever he like he like he like lost his eye. So I do want to try to fix that part there. So I don't know how I'm gonna do it. That's why I gotta work on his face where where he actually like lost his eye. But you haven't seen how I got this door. I will leave that unboxing. My homeboy, this homeboy Daniel from uh, Un Unified Mad Band. Trust me, he wants to see that unboxing. I will leave links down below if you really, 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 really want to go and check that out. And last but not least, this like, stacks up to Marvel Legends series, MCU's uh, Avengers Endgame. I, I'm not gonna call him Fat Thor. He just he just more of a, of a Viking type Thor. I really do like this figure. He's my, he's my third favorite of out of all the, the Thor's that I have in my collection. So I wanted to show off all the ones that I, I really did like. I probably will like this one as well. And it, it probably. Be, you know, fourth, once I change the head scope, I gotta change the head scope. Because the helmet is kind of like throwing me off a little bit. <laughs> so, when I get the ride with Thor, trust me, I will be showing him how he looks in his actual uh, outfit without the helmet. And this is my review of the Hasbro's Marvel Legends series, Thor's Love and Thunder. Thor. Hope y'all enjoyed this review. Trust me, boy had a fun time making it. And you know what? Every review, I will take pictures. This is Instagram right here, but I will leave these down below. We go and check those out. And your boy is on TikTok. Well, I take those same pictures, I post over there. I just add a little bit of flair. This is your boy, CB Hunts. Hope you have a blessing. And trust me, I can wait to catch you in that next one.